Hey, it's Andrew and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create, set up and use a Facebook Business Manager account, including all of the best practices to make sure you minimize your chances of getting your account shut down or banned by Facebook, and also to do everything you can to protect yourself from getting hacked or losing access to your accounts. Plus, I'll show you how to use Facebook Business Manager to give others access to your ad accounts and pages and all of those things if you need to at some point in the future. So if you decide to hire an individual or an agency to manage your ads for you, then this is the correct way way to give them access to prevent a lot of headaches in the future. So I've seen this many, many times where people have given access the wrong way to ad accounts and pages and Instagram accounts. And this has caused massive amounts of headaches after they stop working with that agency. So I want to make sure that doesn't happen to you. And if you're on the other side of the fence and you're an agency and you need to get access to client accounts, I'll show you how to do that the right way so that you don't end up in these difficult situations. Okay, so the first step is to create your business manager account. So head over to business.facebook.com and what we're going to do once we're here is click create account. Now, if you're not logged into Facebook already, it might ask you to log in. So quickly log into your Facebook account and then click create account. Now you simply choose a business name, enter your name and enter your business email. From there, you click submit and go ahead and enter the details that Facebook asks for to create your basic Facebook business manager account. Once you've created your business manager account, it's time to get it all set up. So you should see a screen that looks a little bit like this when you first log in. The main thing from here is we wanna to go to your business settings. So click on business settings down in the bottom left. And then once you are on the business settings page, we need to go down to business info. And from here, it's really important that you fill in all of your business information in as much detail as possible. The reason for this is because you need to show Facebook that you are a legitimate business, okay? To show Facebook that you are a genuine business, enter all of the business information here that matches your business documents. To do that, we click edit and we'll enter our legal business name, country, address, business website. Tax ID is optional, but I recommend you add that as well and then save those details. Now, the next thing you'll see here is business verification status. Now, this is really important that we're going to skip over it for now and circle back to that later in the video for a few reasons. The main one being you can't actually do it yet. The next thing to do once you've entered all of those details is to turn on two factor authentication. This is really Really important because it secures your account and helps prevent you from getting hacked. This actually happens quite often with Facebook ad accounts. Hackers will get in, they will get into a Facebook ad account and spend thousands of dollars before it gets picked up. And then it's a whole mess to unpick to try and get your money back and also get access to your account because usually the account gets banned at some point as well. So turn on two-factor authentication simply by clicking this drop down and choosing everyone. Then you can scroll down here and it's got two-factor authentication is required and you can click control how you're sent your login code and choose how you would like your two-factor authentication code to be sent to you. Personally, I use SMS, but there are a couple of ways you can choose from. Doesn't matter which one you choose, whatever works best for you. All right, once you've finished filling out your business info, the next step is to go to the security center and we're going to do something else that's going to help protect your account. So go to security center on the left. Now, what we wanna do here is add an admin. You can see over here, I've got the option to add another business admin. At the moment, I am the only administrator of this business. Now, the problem with that is if I get my personal Facebook ad account banned from advertising for any reason, then I'm not going to be able to get access to this business manager account. And if you've got all your ad accounts, pages, Instagram account, everything in here, then that can be a huge mess to try and untangle and it makes things really, really difficult. Often you have to recreate pages, ad accounts and all of that stuff if that happens. Now, this can be catastrophic for an individual business, but if you're an agency or if you're managing ads for clients, this can be absolutely disastrous because then you lose access to all of those client accounts as well. So the way to prevent that is to add a second admin on the account. So to do this, simply click add under add another admin, enter the email address of the person you wanna add and give them admin access. Now you should choose somebody who you can absolutely trust 100%. So maybe a family member or somebody you're very, very close to who you know is 100% trustworthy and isn't going to do anything untoward because this is giving them full access to your business manager and everything inside there. So go ahead and do that, send it off. They'll get an email. They'll need to open that email and accept the invitation to be an admin of your business manager account. And once they do that, you'll have that added layer of protection. Again, you see business verification popping up here and you can see that button's grayed out. We can't do that yet, but we will circle back to that later. Now what we need to do is actually talk about what the business manager does and how to use it effectively. So what the Facebook business manager is essentially is a container and inside that container, you put all of your Facebook and Instagram assets, meaning your Facebook ad accounts, your Facebook page, your Instagram account, your pixels, and even people who work in your organization. Maybe that's just you or maybe that's 
others who you want to grant access to individual assets to. So what we need to do now is bring those assets into your brand new business manager account. To do that, we simply navigate to the different sections on the left and bring each of them in. We'll start with pages. So if I click pages on the left, I can click add and I can choose one of three options. We can add a page, we can request access to a page, or we can create a new page. So this is what each of the three options mean and which one you should choose. The first one is to add a page. Now this option allows you to add a page that you already own. So if you have a Facebook business page and you are the owner and you just need to bring it into your shiny new business manager account, then this is the option that you choose. However, if you need to manage a page that somebody else owns, meaning you're an agency or you're a freelancer who manages other people's pages, then you would choose request access to a page because you don't own it, but you want access to it. And then finally, if you don't have a business page at all yet and you need to create one, then you would choose the create a new page option. For most people, and what I'm going to walk you through now is add an actual page. So we click add a page and then you simply enter your page name or the URL of your page. In my case, my page is called Andrew Hubbard. So I'd select that page and then click add a page. Once you do that, you'll see the page is added to your business manager and your list of pages is here in the column on the left. And from there, you can actually add people and partners to this page. And that is how you grant others access. So you can see here, I have a few people who have access to my page already. And if I wanted to add more people, I would simply click add people and select who I want to add in. Now you might not see the people that you want to add to that page in that list on the left that you just saw, but I'm going to show you how to actually add new people to that list as well. So don't worry about that. We're also going to talk about partners very, very soon as well. But for now, go ahead and add your page to the business manager. The next thing we're going to add is your ad accounts. So click on the ad accounts tab. You can see I've already got one ad account in my business manager, but if you want to add new accounts to yours, click on the add button. And from there, you've got similar options to pages. You can either add an account, you can request access to an ad account, or you can create a new ad account. Now, adding an ad account simply means you're adding your own ad account that you already have and own. Requesting access is the same as a page. You're requesting access to somebody else's ad account. And then creating a new ad account is pretty self-explanatory. So if we choose to add an ad account, that's going to ask us for the ad account ID. Now you simply enter your ad account ID, click add account, and it adds it in there. If you don't know how to find your ad account ID, then this is how you can do it. Simply go to your Facebook profile. Then on the left, click see more, and then you can click ads manager. Now that's going to open your current ad account. And from here you can grab the ID. So if you look up in the URL, you can see it's got ACT equals, meaning account equals, and then an ID. Simply copy that ID, go back over to your business settings, paste that ad account ID in and click add account. That will add the account to your business manager. Next up, add any Instagram accounts that you wanna use with this business manager as well. So we go over to the left, click Instagram accounts, click add. And this process is slightly different. You click connect your Instagram account and it actually asks you to log into your Instagram account. Once you log in, grant it access, your Instagram account will be added as well. Next, you need to add your Facebook pixels. So we simply go data sources, click on pixels, and you can add pixels from here. However, if you wanna run multiple pixels or if you don't have a pixel listed here already, you simply click on add up here and that's going to ask you to create a pixel. So you just give your pixel a name and then enter your website URL, continue, follow those steps and it will set up a new pixel for you. Now, once you've got all of those assets added, the next thing to talk about here is people and how we manage access through the business manager. So if you go up here to users on the left, click on people. You can see here that I am already there as the admin. And if you've added that second admin as I recommended earlier in the video, you should see them listed there as well. Now in the people section, you can add anyone you want and you can assign them access to any of your assets inside the business manager. So as you can see, I've got myself here and if I click on myself, it shows me that I have access to this page this ad account and this pixel. Now, if you choose any other person in the list, it would show you what they have access to as well. And from here, I can add or remove or change access to any of these particular assets. So if you wanna give an individual person access to an asset like a page, you would come in here, click on add, 
and you would add this person to your business. So you'd enter their email address, you'd choose what kind of access they want and you would click next and they would be listed in the people section. From there, you can go down to let's say pages and they'll be listed here and you can actually add them to this page. So you can click add people, they will be listed in this list on the left, you can select them and you can choose what level of access to give to this particular page. You can do that for ad accounts and for any other asset. Now, I don't recommend adding individual people and assigning access that way, unless they are full-time employees of your company, meaning they are internal team members within your company. If you wanna assign access to, let's say, an agency to manage your ad accounts, or somebody who's freelance managing your Facebook page, the way to do that is through the partners section. So in that case, you would click on partners, go over here, and you can see we've got partners listed here. You can click add and you can give a partner access to your assets or if you're an agency or freelancer working for somebody else, you can request access to a partner's asset. So in that case, you would click ask a partner to share their assets. Let's take a look at the example though. If you want to share your assets, meaning your page, your ad account or anything else with somebody else, you would click give a partner access you need to ask them for their business ID and they should be able to provide that to you. From here, you would simply paste in their business ID, click next, and that will allow you to assign the access you wanna give that organization. Select the page I wanna give them access to and then I choose what level of access I would like to give them. Same here, I can go down to ad accounts and then I can decide which ad accounts I wanna give this partner access to and I can choose the level of access I would like to give them. And I can go through and do that for every asset including my Pixel, Instagram account and everything else. That is the best way to give somebody else access to your Facebook business assets because from there, it's very easy to control what they have access to and to remove them if you need to do so in the future. It ensures that you remain the primary owner of all of your business assets and you just give them partner level access that can be removed at any time. On the flip side, if you're the agency or freelancer and you need access to clients, they can either add you that way where you just provide the business manager ID and they add you in, or you can simply click ask partner to share their assets and then you can follow through the prompt here to get the details that you need, enter it in and they will give you the access simply by approving that request. Now there are still two really important things you need to do before you finish your business manager setup. The first one is to verify your domain. So you do that by heading over to brand safety, clicking on domains, and then you need to add your domains and verify them. That process is a little too long to include in this video. So I've created a video specifically to walk you through that right here that you can check out. And the other thing is to verify your business manager account. It's really important. So I've created another video specifically on that that you can check out right here. Make sure you go now, follow those final two steps. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.